No, you got to cry out. Amen. It says she cried out to him saying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My daughter is severely demon-possessed. But he answered her not a word. He didn't even answer her. He didn't even look at her. He didn't even acknowledge that she was there. But y'all sitting up here, Jesus ain't saying that, so I ain't gonna worry about it. See, now you really don't want it. Because don't you know you anointed to change his mind? Amen. Amen. It's a here. It's a but it said, and the disciples came and urged him, saying, Send her away. For she cries after us. I said, now that's just how people will try to hype you up. Your friend. Jesus must don't hear you. It must be something you ain't doing right. He ain't asked them that. That woman went crying about them. She was crying to him. See, that's just like how people be a part with Jesus. They act like she just crying for us. Gone. It said, but he answered and said, I was not sent except to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. In verse 25, it says, Then she came and worshiped. That's what I was trying to tell you. Your worship is what's going to get you your breakthrough. She said, If you won't pay me no attention, oh, I know to get down. and said, it is not good to take the children's bread and to throw it into the little dogs. Now Jesus on and insulted the woman and said, y'all like little dogs. But she still. See, I was just telling them in school of life, you can't be a believer if you don't know how to come up against it. If you get easily offended because people tell you no. If you get frustrated because they tell you no. You ain't going to never get what Jesus got for you. It says that here. Say, listen what she told him. And she said, yes, Lord. Yet even the little dogs eat the crumbs which fall from the master's table. Then Jesus answered and said to her. Oh, woman, see, now he called her a dog, but the word where came out of her spirit, he said, oh, woman, come on here, a great faith, great is your faith, let it be to you as you desired, and her daughter was healed from that very hour. What did she do? She left in the spirit, hear me, she left in the spirit for where she was where he kept rejecting her where he kept turning her down and she went in the spirit come on here the bible says first come on here she had to cry out to come on here see this is a formula if you leave it if you want to leave this natural realm to go in the supernatural realm you first gotta cry out after she cried out she began to worship come on here her worship began to take her into another dimension in the supernatural realm into an eternal realm that when Jesus wouldn't even call for them that he said I gotta bump the system because she put a demand on me that now I had not even came to heal the Gentile but now she making me that I gotta go into heaven I gotta go into eternity and I gotta pull in what she need because she came outside herself. That's good, that's good. How are you going to get something from God when you don't want to come outside of yourself? See, we're being so deceived because the situation looks ugly. See, it got to look ugly to make you do something that you ain't never did. It will cost you to get Say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, the more I call your name, the better I feel. You said in John 14, this is the confidence that I got in Christ Jesus, that anything that I ask in his name, I know you hear me. I need you to come and see about me. Oh, Lord, I worship you because you are Lord. You are bigger than myself. 
cried out to worship in the worship it gets his attention and he said wait a minute they put it on your side that I ain't never seen before because see now this thing is to mess you up but see now you worship it because see the devil was banking that you were going to be crying calling your mama calling Pookie now calling 